thank you very much for uh, inviting me to this presentation. I am really happy to explain something about the European smart farming. So uh, I'm the uh, CTO and the co-founder of the, this company. But uh, my background is also uh, coming from a, a farmer family. My granddad was also a farmer, but I have no chance to work together with the farmer in, in my years. But in, uh, I'm also an electronic engineer and biomedical engineer. Uh, you know the Lely brand in uh, in Netherlands. Uh, I have been working for Lely two and a half years, and I'm the developer of the Lely vector system. When I was working there, I have seen uh, I have a chance to understand the smart farming in uh, European Union, especially in Netherlands and also to Germany. So. Uh, when I'm there, I don't know what I'm doing because I'm just looking for the uh, machine and try to finish the machine. But day by day, I understand the farmer. Farming is really difficult job. It is not easy like the farm with. So after then, I just try to make something more for the animal and also try to search what is going on in the world. So, uh, you know, the European Union is the uh, very uh, popular for the making production and also 160 million tons of uh, milk also produced per year. So uh, traditional making farming is also, uh, especially Germany, France, Poland and Netherlands, Italy, Ireland, everywhere in the uh, European Union, you can find the dairy farmers. And dairy farming is uh, improving day by day. In the in the past, this is also a traditional uh, dairy farms, in, uh, especially in Germany or Switzerland. So after that, it is also improving. They are also using the robotic stuff to improve the animal uh, per, uh, performance and also the efficiency. And also they also change the barning style, not like the old style. They are going to put more animals at the same barn and try to uh, breed everyone with a, with a healthy situation, with a big roof, and also depending on the condition. So in the, in the uh, nowadays, all the farmers in Europe is also putting the uh, solar panel on their roof and also getting energy. You know, the energy uh, cost is also rising up. So uh, farmers is also wants to solve this problem with this kind of solution to, to prevent their uh, energy loss. So especially in Turkey, Italy, Spain, and France, there is a very big problem for the heat stress. When they are building the barn, they don't know what is going on. So they are trying to cool the animals to uh, improve the animal performance. So everything is changing year by year. What about the meat industry? You know, the A European Union is also uh, very popular to beef meat. So uh, in uh, France, for example, 1.4 million, Germany, 1 million, Spain, Italy, around the 750 million kilos of meat is already every year is also consuming. Sides of, like, of opening global markets of the AU industry, there is a pressure because there is no enough place to animal breeding for the, uh, for the beef cattle. So they are trying to find a more uh, efficient way to uh, cattle rearing. So for the digitalization in Europe is also the European Union is also uh, was already uh, funding about this issue. Uh, some of the country has already done something for their dairy industry and also the all animal breeding. For example, for the uh, for the Germany DigiTR, for the Israel there is a NOAA system. They are trying to collect all the data from the other system and understand what is going on all the map. If there's a problem in a local region, they understand what is the basic reason. And also they warn the people at the same time. This is the data power of the digitalization. So for the, for the NOAA, the, uh, as I know, it is the first uh, data collector in Israel. And after then it's also populated all around the world together with the Israel brands. So what is going on for the livestock monitoring? For the livestock monitoring is really important because if you know your cow or know your animal, you know everything what is going on inside the animal. 
So there is a different kind of solution already in the market. Also, the, uh, some of them is the making these with the bolus, some of them uh, making with the collar, pedometer, ear take, and the, and the intervaginal sensor. All of them is also trying to understand uh, what is going on inside the animal and when they should be inseminated, when they should be uh, getting pregnant, and also when they are also calving, how they are managed the uh, animal, they are using uh, all this kind of style to understand uh, all of the animal. So as a result, there's a black screen for the all uh, farmers because they are alone. They need some uh, extra power. And what is going on in the farm? What they have to do for the animal breeding? They have to track the estrus deduction to understand the correct time for the insemination. They need to uh, save their animal in the dry period because of the dry problem is also uh, give a result for the next lactation. They have to fix the problem in the beginning of the dry period. So prepartum seems to be clear. The cow, cow is also getting cowed, but uh, there's a problem in the prepartum period. The colostrum milk is also start producing. And this producing is also uh, getting more, uh, much more energy from the animal and also animal is uh, getting tired. So this is also a uh, very important uh, period. So when you understand something going on in the animal, you can also prevent some problem before the next lactation. So you're going to make something for the calving started and after then the postpartum period. Postpartum period nowadays, much more important than before. Because if you don't understand what is going on in the postpartum, maybe you can have to uh, kill your cow if, uh, from the herd. So as a result, most of the, uh, in my experience, all the farmer all around the world really focusing on the oesters period. But the oesters period is also affected the other circle. So for the farming, they have to make everything perfect. So for the black screen, we have a solution. We already uh, developed uh, with my experience and with my uh, team members, we also developed the intravaginal sensor. We choose the vaginal sensor because already uh, have a solution for the outside of the animal. The behavioral approach has a limitation. So we also improve devices to understand from inside the animal. We getting the data from the animal, it is not a permanent devices. It is a periodic devices. It is using, for example, for the oestrus detection. After the cow pregnant, you are going to remove and use it again. To sending this data to the cloud, the cloud power is understand the regional problem, especially farm problem, and also the cow problem. So send notification to the animal. This is also similar principle for the all uh, IoT devices. Uh, but the, uh, from the uh, uh, these devices can be understand the body temperature of the animal, which is also really important for the animal rearing. The T sense, I just want to explain something about the T sense because the uh, color devices, ear take, and also the all of them is also same principle in my experience because I already developed some kind of devices when I was working for the for the Lely. So uh, not only for the robotic stuff, but also the uh, pedometer stuff, I have chance to develop them. So for, for this reason, you are just have a chance to behavior approach. So with the me measurement inside the vagina, we understand the uh, body activity, temperature, and the uterus contractility. When we understand the uterus contractility, the main problem of uh, some of the region uh, with, the, with the heat stress stuff, the, most of the people also uh, not seems to oesters very perfectly. So they, they are also, most of the time they say, uh, they also behave like a silent tea. It is difficult to catch the, uh, when, the, when the oesters is coming and also the calving time, and especially in the problematic stage. But I also introduced my customer, there's a cycle. You have to be sure everything is perfect for the uh, for the farm otherwise if you also lost money you also lost efficiency 
and also especially you lost your cows. So for the for the prepartum, postpartum, and the dry phase, the sensor is also tracking the temperature stuff and understand the problem before it will be happen. According to our records, we understand uh, mastitis and also some of the diseases before it will be clinical. In the subclinical phase, it is really easy to prevent. It, and these period, the postpartum, prepartum, and dry phase, is also prepare the animal for the heat addiction. When you get the heat addiction, you know the uterus is also clean. There is no problem about the animal and the insemination success rates will be higher. And for the Mediterranean circle, like Turkey, Italy, Spain, and also the Portugal, these countries have a really big issue for the heat stresses. So if you understand the heat stress problem and if you have a solution, so you can also have a chance to prevent it. We have already uh, have a relationship between the Italian uh, company. It, they're also making a cooling stuff. We are also working together with them. You know, in Turkey, there is a 4 million animals, but we cannot produce milk like the, uh, if you compare with the Netherlands, because of we are not using the data, we are not using the uh, healthy health consequences. So, in the, uh, in, there is a trade-off. There is many animal with the dairy sector, but there is a less animal in Netherlands, in Italy, but they are producing much more meat than, we, than the turkey. So this is also uh, show us that European is also really uh, uh, attention about the data. When you also look at the data, you have a chance to improve the uh, farm. So, uh, I just want to say about the, what is the accuracy behind our uh, system, because we are inside the animal. When, when you are also really close to the uterus, you can also understand the vibration to uh, inside the corn. When, when the corn is also vibrating, is the egg is also coming to the center of the uterus. So there is a big chance to uh, success insemination rate. Our sensor is also, uh, almost blood progesterone test is equal to our 24 hours advanced calving alert and also the estrus alert. So uh, this is also a very user-friendly application because uh, you know the, I also uh, have experience together with many farmers, farmers like a data scientist. They are most of the time, they are looking to the data and try to dig what is going on inside the animal. Most of the uh, user interface uh, all around the world really complicated. Uh, all of my customer using this stuff, but they, they don't understand everything. This is not simplified. The, uh, the artificial intelligence and the machine learning can learn for their stuff. So we can also, uh, with the data, give the correct notification, correct information, and also we change the uh, farmer's behavior, like the data scientist behavior to the farmer, because farmer don't investigate what is going on with the data. This is our job. And we will have to warn them at the correct time. So uh, we are a German company and uh, we are also spread out our system in, the, in Europe and also USA. Unfortunately, uh, we, we haven't a uh, chance to enter the Korean market. And uh, I hope we will also meet uh, with our devices. So uh, that's all I can explain about the European market and the VCAF system. Thank you for, for your attention.